there, fellow toy and action figure aficionados. Welcome back. David Eon here, down in the Toy Museum. Along with Miss Kitty. The only feline allowed down here. I'll just go ahead and show you Miss Kitty real quick. Why not? Hey, Kitty. Hi, dear. How you doing? The only cat allowed down here because that chair is the only place she ever goes. She does not climb on anything, scratch anything, jump on anything. She just sits in that chair. That's all she wants. So we let her come down here. But back to the point. Today, we are going to do a clinic on Mazinger. Mazinger, Mazinger, Mazinga, however you want to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced several different ways. Mazinger, you get the idea. Shogun Warriors, which they started releasing by Mattel in 1977. And there are three standard U.S. versions, as well as other variants. And as I said, we're going to do a clinic here really quickly. Or however long it takes. And I'm going to show you the variations between the three U.S. versions as well as making reference to foreign versions as well so that if you happen across a Mazinger you can identify it or at least tell if parts have been swapped because sometimes these are pieced out and people Frankenstein them together and you have parts from one that belong on another. Mattel did this with several of the jumbo machinders and that's what these are jumbo machinders because they are all nearly two feet tall just under 24 inches in height and I love these I really do these are some of my favorites the Mattel Shogun Warriors line I do have others I've got a few right there and Mattel with some of them did make several variations based off the original by Poppy or Poppy however you want to pronounce that I've heard both of those as well but we'll go ahead and we'll get started with version one and you notice that the arms are detached on a couple of these I did that on purpose and I'm gonna explain why here in a moment now version one is a direct copy of the classic Japanese version or second version because they did Mazinger twice the first one in the early 70s and the second one in the mid 70s the first one you can't miss because the color palette is completely different but we're gonna concentrate on Shogun Warriors here with this discussion if you came across a Popey version it would be identical to Mattel's first release Mazinger with one exception, one very noticeable exception. It's on the back, and I'll turn this around here really quickly. You notice on the back of this, if you can see it, it says Made in Japan. All the American versions say Made in Japan. If it's a Japanese version, there's nothing there. It may have the standard copyright, but it will not say made in Japan if it's if it's an original from Japan so keep that in mind if you come across one that does not say made in Japan on the back you've got a Japanese import secondly is the design on the heads you'll notice that version 1 here has very sharp points on the brain ship and on the head. Sharp point, sharp point on the horns. That is synonymous with the first version only because Mattel did away with the, with the points and rounded up edges for the second and third version. You notice that if we do it this way, that the second one and the third one there are rounded on the crown and have rounded tips on the horns as well which actually makes it slightly taller like a quarter of an inch taller 
and version 1. You'll also notice with the brain chips, they did the same thing. This is version 1 brain chip. Sharp points on the brain chip. Version 2's brain chip, and I'll put them side by side here. Not only is the color scheme a little bit different, but they rounded that off as well. They took away the sharp points. And the ship is also slightly larger as a result. Never mind the color palette, you see the blue is a little bit different as well. And while we're in there, look down the tops of their heads. You see in version 1, the seat for the brain chip is shaped like an arrow. And then in version 2, it's more triangular. So that's something else that they changed to accommodate the new shape of the brain chip, which again they rounded off. So I reinsert that. Version 1 and the original from Japan, the rockets have these sharp fins. You see how they're shaped? When they made version 2 and other versions, they clipped that so that there would not be a sharp edge on it. And you can see the difference here. All other versions have that type of fin. So if you have a version 1, you want rockets with fins that look like this. Also, you'll notice that there are 14 rockets. Two on each shoulder and five on the side of each leg, which was also done in version two. Two on each shoulder and five on the side of each leg. And we'll take a look at the arm really quick. You see that I detached the fist. I did that on purpose. As I pointed out often, you will find these have been Frankensteined. People will take parts from different ones and put them together and sometimes they assemble them wrong, which is why I'm emphasizing on this. You'll notice that the arm, or the upper part of the arm, has a single ring here. All other versions will have two rings to clip the fist. Version 1 has a dark blue color palette on the fist, as does the Japanese version. Other versions have a lighter colored fist. Also, the fin on this is very sharp. And the fin on versions 2 and 3 have been toned down. They're not as sharp anymore as you can see. A lot of variations, a lot of little subtleties, which is why I'm pointing this out. People often ask me about these, especially it shows, hey, do you know which version this is? Which is why I'm doing this today. Hopefully this will help some people. The rocket firing fist, version one, has four screw ports. See? One, two, three, four. Second and third versions have only three ports. They reduced one of the screws, probably to save a few bucks. One, two, and three. And you see that on version three as well. One, two, and three. Three screw ports only. Another obvious difference, I think it's obvious, is you see the knees here are split so that the sticker goes right over the split. And in later versions, 
because of a change to the legs and I'll show you that change in a moment they repositioned the jointing on the knees so that now the split is actually above where the knee sticker goes and you see that also on version 3 the change that was made is underneath so if we go down here and you look at the wheel trucks it's like a molded wheel truck with the wheels inserted through kind of like roller skates second and third versions they changed it if you look underneath here now and get the light to come back up there we are do you see how they have now made the wheel truck a complete insert it's sort of plugged in there so the entire lower portion of the leg ended up getting retooled as a result and they changed the knee configuration the next big one is the chest pallet or chest plate rather you can see looking straight on there is a slight difference the one on the left the original version is much larger I believe it's just under nine inches wide and the second version is about almost exactly eight inches it's also set higher you see how much higher it is it actually blocks the rockets on the first version here and they scaled it back they lowered it and reduced its size so it's not as wide and it's not as thick as the original another variation here is if you look straight down you can see that's all one piece it's almost an inch deep actually and if you come over to version one it's segmented it's almost like two pieces there so a lot of differences another difference also is in the shoulder where the rockets are resting you see it's molded directly into the chest plate it's all like one piece but on versions 2 and 3 they separated it and made it an attachment you see there's actually screws in it holding it on same as version 3 here now version Two has a Canadian counterpart. It is a Canadian version that is identical to version two, except for the rockets, which are a complete reversal of color they are white with red fins instead of red with white fins and not all Canadian versions look that way but a majority of them do there is also a European version called Mazinger Z and I'll put an image of it up here really quickly but I'll also describe it of course you can see that there is a line on the shoulder that is similar to the split that is at the bottom of the connecting piece where the fist fits on as well as a protruding piece on the crotch 
where the red sticker is, the red line that goes around the knees, and then three rockets on the side of each leg instead of five. That is the European version. And then finally, we have version three, which we've already shown a few of the nuances of screwed in shoulders, the lighter colored fist, so on and so forth. But the most notable changes are one, that the chest plate has been completely taken away now. Where these two are inserts, and if this was pulled out, there would be a big hole there. Now it's just molded right onto the chest with a sticker which gave it better mobility. I know there's only like three points of articulation anyways, but with these two, you really can't raise the arms very high. Now you can. So they eliminated the chest piece completely and reduced the leg rockets from five to three each. So now there's only 10 rockets with them instead of 14. Also the brain chip, is now locked in place. It is no longer designed, and if you look closely, you can see that it's kind of bulging in there. They turned it into an insert that locks in place that is not really designed to be removed. You can get it out if you fight enough with it. I don't recommend that. <laughs> this is really not supposed to come out. I've seen it missing. I've seen the brain chip missing from this. But yeah, if you've got a uh, type 3 with the brain chip intact, leave it alone. And those are the basic differences between the three, as well as a brief description of some of the other variants. Thoughts? Is that helpful at all? I hope it does help you. As I've said, I've been asked uh, a few times in the past, especially if I'm at a show, hey, which version of Dragon is this? Or, you know, which version of Raydeen do you think this is? Or Muzzinger or whoever. And it can get confusing. Some people aren't even aware there are specific differences. And... Hopefully this video will answer some of those questions. And by the way, these are all original parts and pieces. I don't, I don't like uh, reproductions. That's why missing stickers is still missing because I don't even want to replace the stickers with reproductions. Thoughts? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I sure hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you are new. Check out some of our other content. I'm sure you'll find something interesting. And if that is it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon. Oh.